on now to another action-packed edition of Boys With Toys. And this week we're in Sussex with something exceptionally American. You can often see monster trucks performing at shows, but it's very rare to get a ride in one, and rarer still to get behind the wheel. In fact, these opportunities are so few and far between that trying to find an experience that will allow you to crush a car yourself with a monster truck is like looking for hen's teeth, which is why we've come to Leisure Pursuits. Unfortunately, even here you have to be over 18 to get behind the wheel of the big boy. So it's just as well they have a lot of other very cool junior off-road stuff to choose from. This is the 4x4 mini trial. I'll try not to crash this one. Yes, there's a very real possibility of that on this course, because there are trees everywhere, steep mud-covered slopes, and deep water-filled ruts, capable of spinning the wheel and ripping your thumbs clean off if you're not careful. Exactly the sort of challenge that we love. Okie dokie, let's uh, start her up there. Okay, so that's the two and a half litre diesel engine fired up, ready to go. Let's do this. This custom-built Jeep is basically a modified dumper truck and it gives the kind of raw off-road experience that most 4x4s have forgotten exists. The clutch is heavy, the gear lever is a mile long and there's no power assistance on either the brakes or the steering. Add to that mud flying off the massive wheels and branches whizzing past your face and you've got a really exciting drive. to get out of the woods without killing a single tree, Tim explained why the junior events remain his favourite part of the job. I think with the children's events, um, you never fail to please. They, they always enjoy the activities, job satisfaction wise, that's, that's the most important thing that the client goes away, having had a good time. But we're looking for the mother of all 4x4 experiences. And I didn't come all this way to go home with empty pockets. No, I'm going on a bear hunt and I'm going to catch a big one right after the break. <laughs> is Grizzly, one of Britain's most powerful monster trucks. It's got a 7.5 litre V8 engine. It weighs 8 tonnes, but it'll do 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds. That's because it's got 500 horsepower, so it takes a lot of skill to drive. That's why I'm not. Instead, I'm leaving that job to Tim Mackay because he's got more monster truck hours under his belt than most professional drivers have in standard road cars. So he's the ideal guide for my first ever monster truck experience. But this isn't just any truck. It's a proper American monster. Back in the 80s when Grizzly was built, men were real men, women were real women, and dirty great car crushing monster trucks 
were real dirty great car crushing monster trucks. These days, truck bodies tend to be fiberglass replicas. But Grizzly was built back in the day, when monster trucks were designed to crush rather than jump. That's not to say that Grizzly hasn't seen some serious airtime over the years, but landing something this heavy can apparently be a very unpleasant and painful experience, which is why I was feeling a little bit nervous. Right, here we go. Fortunately, jumping didn't appear to be on the day's agenda, and I soon began to feel quite excited. How do you cope with the noise? It does get to you after a long day in stretching. Your ears are almost ringing just from constant monster trucking. we were going to climb a massive mound of earth. If you were to go over that in a four-wheel drive, which we will do in a minute, you'll see it's quite a big deal in a four-wheel drive, in a monster truck. Then we were off to crush a couple of cars. Finally, it was time for a high speed power lap, which was a real experience. My ride was over, and so that was that. Although this is Boys with Toys, we can't go through a whole episode without one of us attempting something stupid. I may be too young to drive the monster, but Tim's an ideal guinea pig. Time to feed him to the bear. I've got to admit, it is a work of art just getting in That's to the it. thing, is it not? It's a long way up, Tim. Oh. Fantastic. <laughs> Seven and a half litre big block Chevy V8. That is. You can feel it rumbling. There's no engine mounts. It's bolted straight to the chassis. <laughs> so you feel it all. And as I'd already discovered, Tim soon found that Grizzly was unlike anything else he'd ever driven. Oh, that is bizarre, isn't it? So, most of the weight on this truck is what we call unsprung weight. We've got the tyres and wheels and axles all below the suspension. Yeah. Which is why you get that strange handling characteristic. That is just... Kill a cone! That's it, I 
kill the cone! My first cone of the day, first kill! Finally, it was back to the other side of the course for a little climbing practice before the main event. Self-drive car crushing. Now this isn't just a lame passenger ride, there's real danger here, and with no dual controls, the two Tims could get seriously hurt if things go wrong, or worse yet, damage the monster truck. Before I do, I've got a quick, if by any chance I do muck this up, yeah. what, what happens? Well we could get the truck stuck on top of one of the cars, it could at worst case tip over to one side well crying like a little girl he's away he's looking good on approach and if he does this we've officially proved that even half wit can crush a police car if he happens to be equipped with a monster truck yeah, it's not every day you can prove that one, is it? Looking great, so coming onto the windscreens now. Go, 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 go. I'm, I'm sitting on a police car. <laughs> the first time I've ever done this, and I must say it feels great. Right now we're going to get them back wheels up, and as soon as they're up, we can go straight over, but again, you want to be able to brakes to bring it down gently, reduce the bouncing effect. Right. Right, let's give it a go. Onto the power level. taught him to, to crush butt. Although it's still not as exciting as my 4x4 experience. Wait a minute, you're not seriously comparing your little potter in a glorified dumper truck to my monster truck experience, are you? Hello? 7.5 litre, big block, V8 Chevy and police car crushing equal better day out. No, deep ruts, steep slopes, water-filled craters, the danger of ripping your thumbs off at any given moment. More adrenaline, more action, better value for money. That is utter plop. Monster truck wins. No, 4x4. Four four. Monster. 4x4. Four four. Monster. 4x4. Four so the argument went on and on and eventually we decided to settle this like men, or at least boys, with a race. What we've got here is a 400cc off-road go-kart. It's rear-wheel drive with rear brakes, where they get the name rally cars because in the wet, in the long grass, if you use the power, the back end slides out, and if you use the brakes hard, the back end slides out. So they're great fun, one of my favourite vehicles, and the main idea of this vehicle is to go as fast as you can. So after a brief introduction to the carts, Tim was away. And after what felt like two really rapid laps, he rolled back to the start. His time. One minute thirty. That meant that to win my argument, I'd need to do 129 or less. Yeah, that was, that was pretty rubbish, actually. I'm going to be beaten by a 12 year old, aren't I? Yeah. Now, karting may look easy, but small wheels on damp grass take some controlling. And I knew that one 10 second penalty would almost certainly mean that I'd lost, which was not going to happen. On your marks, get set, go!
Your time, sir, was one minute and 28 seconds. Well done, buddy. Yes, I've done it. By the skin of my teeth, but victory all the same. So, our boys the toys recommendation of the week? Under 17's mud plugging. Followed by monster trucking. Who says you can't have your cake and eat it?